Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tammy if you're new here. And I just want to say happy 100 subscribers to me today. And thank you to all the people who have been watching and commenting and subscribing. It took me a long time to get here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I started about a year ago and then I stopped for a while and then I've restarted again. So I am just so grateful for you guys. And today I'm going to be talking about fashion trends that I see coming down from the big fashion houses that I can't wait till they hit the affordable market. And so today I am wearing, oh, let's see if I can stretch. I've got these pants on from Walmart. I'll give you a stand up in a little bit, <clears throat> but they gave me Versace vibes with these, the yellow and the black and the chains. Like I was like, okay, yes, $7, yes. And then I have on a neon yellow blazer and we're gonna talk more about neon in just a few minutes. And then another trend that I like, is putting your straps around your pants so it kind of bunches them at the bottom. I'm living for it. I love it. What I'm going to attempt to do today is show you the, the trends that I think are coming that I want to participate in and then I will link affordable options hopefully and so you guys can shop right from the description box. That was hard to say. Okay, so let's get into the video. Okay, so first trend let's talk about. Let's talk about neon. So neon is making a particular comeback, okay? Or I don't know if particular is the word, but it's making a special kind of comeback. Now we've seen neon in the past few fashion um, seasons or whatever, but it's been in like t-shirts and uh, kind of active wear and that kind of thing. But now it is making a comeback with uh, formal dresses and in ways you haven't seen it before. And I think neon always looks good on a tan it always it's just bright and cheerful and i think with all of this mess going on like we should we could definitely use some bright and cheerful options so what i'm going to do is show you what i saw and then i'm going to try to link something similar that's affordable so that's what i'm going to try to do in between these uh little clippings or whatever so Pray for me it works out because I've never done anything like that before. Okay, guys. So I was just online and I was looking and I found this website called Clothesite or something like that. And they had a beautiful pink neon dress for $42. It was on sale. I'm going to insert a picture. And then, of course, the link will be in the description. So yay for number one. And then let's get into what I love, puffy sleeves. Okay, so if you are a bigger girl like me, then you might have to deal with like some girth on your arms, which has always been kind of a, mm, a little sensitive, not really sensitive, but I'm very mindful of it. Like some of the really tight sleeves just don't really look good on me. So I am super excited for these exaggerated puffy sleeves that I see that are coming down the market. And I do believe that Zara has some, so I'm going to link them below as well. And they are just, okay, so I know that this season they're going to be way exaggerated. Like up here, 80s style, big, fluffy, ginormous sleeves so i don't know that i want that i'll rock that trend so much as like maybe just puffier so i'm going to find something on zara and of course with me being a micro mini channel for now i don't have any coupon codes or any discounts and I'm certainly not sponsored yet so zara if you're watching help a girl out anyway i will be right back with an example of that shirt and I, I guess a link for you guys to shop that. Okay, so Zara definitely had some options. There were some puffy sleeve dresses, uh, puff sleeve shirts. And so I saw some things that led me to my next, um, I guess, fashion trend that's going to be coming down that I'm here for. And that is print. Big, bold, loud print. 
like the pants that I have on. I know that Versace is bringing back the jungle print, which was obviously if you are a 2000s fiend like me, you remember uh, J-Lo walking the red carpet with that plunging uh, jungle print uh, dress that she made so famous. That print is back. Um, I know they're doing the yellow Oh, they call it something I can't remember. It's, I probably would butcher it anyway, but big print is coming back. Um, and I just saw some on Zara, so not to like, you know, push Zara so much, but I know that Zara is one of those fashion um, places that kind of copy the big fashion houses. So if you want something, that's my advice. If you want something affordable or more affordable, cause I think they run around the $50 range. So if you want something that's more affordable as compared to $5,000 for a dress from Gucci. So way more affordable. If you want something like that, shop on Zara because they have everything little search thing button or whatever. And you can put in what you're looking for and they will have it. So again, I'm going to link a printed, maybe a couple of printed things that I saw from there that I'm living for. Definitely big florals. I heard, um, I can't remember who said it, but if you're going to go vintage or shop like your thrift stores and look for floral prints, they said no bigger than your hand. So about that width is the size of the floral patterns that you want to see. But I've also seen some of the really mini um, floral patterns. So I'm definitely into it. I love big, bold, seamy kind of fashion. Like I'm just, I'm just into it. So anyway, I will link those in the description and definitely y'all check out Zara cause they've got some really good stuff. Oh my gosh, guys. So this next trend that I love so much, um, you might see me wear anyway. Is I call it the grandma shirt. I don't know what the real name for it is, but the shirt that I'm going to link below is everything. So it's like this ruching, these like, I wouldn't call it ruffles. It's not ruffles, but it's like this ruching and it's got like these little pearls all over it. It's everything. It's got the puffy sleeve and it tightens right here. Love, love, love it. And I know you can get some of those on AliExpress. I just don't know about shopping with AliExpress. I don't think I've ever bought anything from there. Maybe I have, I don't know. But anyway, um, there's another YouTuber that I watch. Um, what is her name? Oh, can't remember. Shoot, anyway, if I, I'll link her channel. But anyway, and she always has the cutest little tops that she gets from AliExpress. So that is a definite cheap way to get into this trend is to go to AliExpress. And I know sometimes she will link those shirts. So if I can find the video of her having some of those shirts, I will link that so that you can shop off of her channel too, if that makes sense. I wish I could remember her name. Gosh, I, watched, I just watched her last night. It's just like, poof. Anyway, um, so also I wanted to mention another YouTuber that I super love and she is always up on the trends. She definitely has my aesthetic. If I had her budget and her body type, like we would dress like twins because she definitely shares my aesthetic. And that is Maytel from Style Hard. She does an up and coming video too. So I think that would be something that if you're into this, these kind of videos, you would like her channel, I think. So I love her. She's great. Not that she'll ever see this, but hey, may tell if you do. So anyway, um, I can't think of anything else. Let's see. We covered the print. We covered the neon. We covered the ruffle, the ruffle dresses or the, sorry, the ruffle shirts. And then we did the puffy sleeves. So I think that might be all I'm hitting on. One thing I don't think I'll be doing or participating in is the oversized bag trend. And I'm not just talking about like a big hearty bag. I'm talking about these looks like you're carrying a suitcase. Like the, I'm not into that. Like I'm definitely liking like a bigger bag versus like the micro, but I don't think I'm going to be carrying around a suitcase for my everyday bag. Let me see what else I can hunt down on the internet. If I don't hunt down anything, let me again say thank you again for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me because it's exciting and it means a lot to me. So I might be back. I might not. So if not, stay encouraged.
Okay guys, so I think because I have so much to link in the video and I've never quite done a video like that, I'm probably just going to end the video here and figure out. I'm still learning my way around editing, so. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit and just let you know it was so cheap. So you can still participate in the trends and do fun things with your clothes and not spend a ton of money. So the blazer... I got from, I think, Goodwill. So what would that be like, $4.99? The, the belt bag was three bucks at Walmart. The pants were $3 at Walmart. And the shoes are Target, I don't know what season. So, and I just belted them around my ankles. And that is my wild, trendy, Walmart, Goodwill, cheap, bougie on a budget, super loud outfit. Anyway, love you guys. Stay encouraged. Okay, editing Tammy here. Um, no, the pants were $7 from Walmart, so just wanted to add that in.